Okay, I'm Joshua Kemble, and this is my vloggins. Um, this one's going to be a little unusual. I had to call it sick today because uh, my son uh, kind of kept us up all night. And so I was not in a position to head to work today. And so I took the day to mostly rest. But um, I mentioned this on a few vlogs ago. Uh, along with being a cartoonist and illustrator, graphic designer, you can get my comic... Um, Two Stories Book One on Amazon at a really reduced rate just by looking for Two Stories by Joshua Kemble. It's a comic about faith and mental illness, but I also make music and play guitar. And so uh, toward the end of today, like around like seven, I started tracking some stuff using my brand new Gibson SG, which is really cool. But what's cool is I wanted to show you guys what arrived in the mail. Um, I've basically, as a hobby, I also kind of mod guitars, especially like my old um, Squires. And a lot of this just came out of the fact that I had these really kind of badly set up uh, Squire uh, Telecasters. And so I started that, I basically modded two of them. It was really successful, it made the guitars a lot better. Um, and I decided to kind of use Guitar Fetish. Um, which is like a, a website that you can order like fairly inexpensive uh, pickups and um, pots and, and stuff like that. So anyhow, I also, once I felt comfortable with it, had modded or started the process of modding um, my first guitar ever, which was a really weird model of Fender Stratocaster. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I've done so far to the guitar, and then I'm gonna show you the pickups that I just ordered. Um, and then I think all I have left to do is hopefully install some locking tuners, which are on their way in the mail. So right now I'll just show you the, um, the pickups and, uh, unfortunately I won't be able to show you how they sound yet, but I will tell you the electronics, um, are ready. So let me first show you the Squire where it's at, and then I'll do an unboxing of the new pickups. And, uh, I figure I might as well show a little bit of that side of me. If that's interesting to you guys, let me know in the comments. Um, and subscribe, like, all of that fun stuff. All right, let's uh, check out the uh, weird, strange first guitar I got at a pawn shop for like a hundred bucks. Um, and I'm still really attached to it because it's like covered in stickers and actually some blood <laughs> from gigs. And um, it's just a guitar I'd, I'd never sell or get rid of. So I might as well try to make it usable since the electronics died on it. But now that I've rewired um, using Guitar Fetish's uh, quick lock system, um, it might actually be playable again, which is pretty exciting. So yeah, let me show you what I've done so far. So this is my lady. I pulled out the pickups. Uh, it had a humbucker and two single coils, but all three were dead. The um, wiring on the inside uh, for the pots uh, was dead. So I went to Guitar Fetish. I ordered a new um, setup for the... Um, I'm blanking out on what this is, but basically just rewired the electronics. Uh, so now um, I'm going to be installing at some point a humbucker from Guitar Fetish and then two single coils. But I'm going to use these weird kind of awesome uh, Japanese guitar style uh, foil covered pickups that look like a 1950s uh, sci-fi movie and should have like a lot of rawness and crunch. This thing has seen so much action. You can see... Um, it's been dropped multiple times at multiple shows. It's still to this day one of my favorite guitars, but it definitely has um, a whole lot of road wear to it, and I love that about it. The neck is just beat the crap out of. Um, you can see how many gigs were played on this thing. Like the, the fretboard is just torched. Um, but I did polish it up, clean it up a little bit, and uh, installed these new things. These, um, initially I tried to install these, but um, I think in retrospect, I was trying not to kind of harm the back of the neck uh, of this guitar, but at the end of the day, I think these little cheap tuners uh, could use an upgrade, and if I have to drill an extra hole, that's okay, because it's just for me anyway. So I'm gonna probably use um, some, uh, some locking tuners that I ordered. But what came today are the um, pickups that I'm gonna install here. And the nice thing about quick lock pickups is that <clears throat> they just plug in just like a pair of headphones. Um, so uh, I have tested this out by plugging it into an amp. And then basically if I touch the ends, you can hear them at every setting. So from neck position, the neck and middle, 
to all three to, you know, bridge and middle and then bridge position. All of these made a noise when they went through the amp. So we'll see how this goes. So far, um, the, the other one, the one thing that was annoying about this guitar too is unlike a Stratocaster, um, because it's like a Squire 2 that I got out of a pawn shop years ago, it was made in a different way. So like these things are actually offset from like the, the position that a regular uh, Squire, um, their, their regular like volume and tone knobs would be. Um, they're also like these weird metal ones, which is much more like a telly. Um, and then also it has this strange side input. So what I ended up having to do was I did have to do a little bit of soldering where I basically had to solder the output here. This special output part is like a unique thing to Esquire 2. I've never been able to find this side one for any guitar other than this one. So I had to pull this off, uh, rewire it, and so the electronics were a little weird. And then the only other thing was I had to solder, uh, there's like a, a wire that you have to basically, uh, you know, uh, ground and so I soldered the ground to um, some of the uh, the springs in the back here so yeah so that's that's basically it um, we'll just have to see what happens I also ordered a I never had a whammy for this before so I ended up ordering a new whammy bar which is kind of cool so now I'll have this like weird crazy guitar to play with so with that being said let's look at the awesome uh, guitar fetish uh, package that just arrived. Here is my uh, guitar fetish package. It just arrived in the mail, so let's check them out. I usually use keys to uh, open boxes. Not the best thing. I should probably just use a box cutter, but not too bad. So, now we have my order which is pretty cool. Um, that's basically saying that I'm gonna have a KPM uh, 17, a metal foil single coil ferret uh, chrome um, that's gonna fit a uh, Stratocaster. I have one that's 4K and one that's 5K. I believe the 5K is for the middle position and the 4.5 uh, is for um, the neck but I will obviously uh, be checking that out and confirming that on their website just to make sure I'm doing the right ones and then the fun thing is this GFS gold foil single coil ferret humbucker shell and that's a humbucker so it's a little larger that's the one that's going to be in the bridge position and uh, it's pretty exciting um, but that one looks super cool and uh, so yeah so that should be arriving too. All right, nicely packed, that's good. And look at that, Ooh. This looks pretty amazing. Let's see, oh, look at that. That makes me excited. So there's one, and I'm guessing that's gonna be the humbucker. Uh, mine should look something like that, which is pretty exciting. Um, now we have another, I think this is gonna be the single coil that's gonna look something like that. And a single coil, it's gonna look something like that. So let's open them up. All right, so let's check these out. So basically, these great quick plug uh, pickups. I used these on one of my tellies. Uh, it's actually a telly I got at a pawn shop before getting my Fender telly, which is easily like outranks any guitar <laughs> other than the um, Squire I just picked up. So we got ourselves some uh, some nice uh, screws to use with uh, some plastic to kind of, you know, act as a cushion as, as I screw them in. And then look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, and then this should, in theory, I should be able to pull these out. This is if you actually wanted to physically wire it. These should just pop out. And uh, the nice thing is there's like a nice input right there um that basically i'll be able to just click in and before i go and do this too i should find out which one which one this is um but yeah that looks pretty gorgeous um so this one's a kpm 18 and this one's a 17 so i'll have to figure out which um 
which ones these are. Let's see here. From what I understand, the the 17 is is uh, so this one is probably my my mid, and this one's my neck. Again, I'll check that, double check that on the guitar fetish site before I uh, pop it out. But let's see the other. Look at this nice little. Nice little explanation. This might even say on here, which is ideal. Um, <clears throat> no, so I have to re read on the site, like which which is which. But I'm guessing this will be the one in the neck, because I think the 17 is the lower. Um, and look at that beautiful pickup. I mean, these things look so retro and amazing. And I think it's just going to be like the punkest, coolest looking guitar again like if I wanted to solder it it has wiring but the cool thing is um, I can pull that out and because I've already pre-wired my harness I should be able to put this in and I'm guessing this one's going to be the neck but again I'll double check before I put it in but I'm just going to put it here put it to the side and this is the one I'm most excited about <laughs> I think the only people who would care about this kind of stuff are like guitar people um, this is just gorgeous man um, so this is going to have a cover on it, which I will just peel off right now. Um, look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> and then it's lovely. You can still see, I think there's a little bit of wax in there, which is good. It means it's wax potted. Um, so if you look really carefully in, in the in-depth of this uh, pickup, it's wax potted. But there we go. And that will be on my bridge. So let's uh, let's let me go look up some stuff, and then I will be I will be back and show you guys um, this being put into the guitar. So cool. Okay, so we basically have our quick plug. I'm gonna put this one here. That's gonna be how it goes in. The inputs on this side. It's gonna plug into that. I'll just put it here for now. The 17 will be the neck position, which should go right there. Hopefully it'll fit right in there. Oh my goodness, it is gonna fit in there really perfect, but that's my neck. And then we've got our 18, and that's gonna be the 5K, so that's gonna go in the middle position. This is gonna be the easiest install. So we're gonna basically just pop it in there again. Next pickup's pretty good to go. And again, next pickup's pretty good to go. So I think once this is done and these are installed, it's gonna be just like this ridiculous, uh, silly, crazy looking guitar. Um, which I think will be fun to do a coil split. I'm really curious what the heck this is going to sound like. I'm sure it's going to sound pretty freaking cool and weird. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of what, what I'm aiming for with, with a pickup like this. Um, but again, the, wire, the wiring was all out, so I knew I had to redo the wiring anyway. And I was like, it would be fun to experiment with some of these great guitar fetish um, pickup. That should sit really nicely in there and look pretty cool. The sticker on this. Now I don't really sticker my guitars, but I have to say it kind of adds to like the patina and the kind of punk rock vibe of this uh, beauty. You also don't want to like tighten too much, but you also don't want to leave loose screws on a guitar because they can re lead to a lot of it. That's designed for like a harness that goes direct to the pick guard like a lot of standard um tellies or standard strats but this is a very unusual stratocaster which is what was so kind of fun about it um when i originally got it but that means the screws have to go direct into the body
Okay, so I gotta get back to cartooning, but let me show you uh, the project so far. And then uh, once I get the uh, tuners for like the headstock, then we'll see how it all comes together and works. All right. So yeah, so this is basically it. It's gonna have these interesting pickups. It should be able to have a push-pull pot. Um, I have my whammy, which I rarely ever use, but since I have an SG and a Telecaster, this can be my kind of whammy, crazy, um, weird guitar. Um, and then these I'm gonna change out. These I'll keep, because those are nice for like keeping the intonation. And then uh, we should be good to go. Um, but. I'll have to just wait patiently for the new uh, tuning heads. So one step closer to getting this fella playable again, which is pretty exciting. And also it's gonna sound like a weird, just, I don't know. I'm so fascinated with how this is gonna sound. I've never used these pickups before. Um, and I just really want to actually express gratitude to Guitar Fetish for kind of making this possible. So anyhow, that'll do it for my vlogins. Um, if you guys found this interesting at all, let me know. Um, hopefully I should be getting those pickups. I mean, the, the um, tuning pegs, uh, um, locking tuners uh, in the mail shortly. And uh, till then, I'll see you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I crazy for posting this? All right, um, now I'm gonna get to cartooning.